Hi everyone, it's Mary again from Studio Us and I'm bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing some really beautiful cacti and we're going to be coloring with colored pencils. So as always, I have my drawing paper ready to go and a pencil, a Sharpie, and an eraser. I went ahead and I drew uh, what I think the center of my paper is and I completed our first step. Want to make sure that I get that correct for you guys. I'll walk you through it. So first go ahead and mark where this line is going to start, right? We need this little bit of negative space here in the bottom left hand corner. Once you get that uh, line marked in, go ahead and then mark again where that uh, line is going to continue once it comes back onto the page. It's going to come up to a point. Go ahead and mark that and pay attention to how far it is from that center line. It's just right below it. And then it'll round back down to another point here. On the right hand side, we have another shape, uh, sort of like an egg shape. Uh, there's about this much space between the two. So go ahead and mark the outside, how far up it's going to come and where it's going to meet on the right hand side of our page. Perfect, let's keep going. We have another shape extending off of this one here. It looks like it's going to start right about here and come up to about here. So I'm going to give myself some dotted lines to get this shape in so I can see if it's correct before I push too hard. It's gonna come around and down like this before meeting back on that first shape we drew. And then we have another shape right here. It's very close to this one, right? There's just a tiny bit of space between them like that. And it looks like it's going to come up to about here, right? This one's pretty tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give myself a dotted line uh, so I can get that shape correct. It looks like the bottom's right about here. And then again, it's gonna come over and around. Pay attention to how much space is from this uh, shape to the right side of our page. Perfect, and draw it in. All right, we're gonna add some smaller shapes on top of this one and this one, the first uh, step we have. I am going to start over here and I'm going to get the uh, rightmost shape first. Now this is just uh, looking like an oval. So I'm gonna draw that in. It looks to be a little bit bigger and pay attention to how much space is from the edge of that oval to the edge of our second uh, shape or step, I should say. So once that looks like it's correct, go ahead and draw it in. And then we have uh, a uh, two more shapes that are in line with each other, right? This one's going to be behind our first one that we drew and then one more. So it looks like this shape is going to start right about here. It's pretty close to the top of this one. And it's going to come up like this before coming back down into the shape here. So go ahead, draw that in. Perfect. And then one more shape here, again behind this one and it looks like it's going to start right about here and come up and around like that. Perfect. That looks great. We have a similar situation over here. I'm actually going to start with the shape that's getting cut off the edge. I think that's going to help me. So I am going to draw this line first. There's a little bit of negative space here, right? Just a little corner. And it's going to come around and up like this and off the page. We have another shape over here. Now I'm not going to do the middle one yet because the middle one is behind these two. So I wanna draw those first. I am going to uh, give myself some dotted lines for uh, the leftmost shape. 
and I am going to mark where I think it overlaps here. Looks like it's right about here. And it's gonna come over and up like that. Perfect. And then one more shape in here. This one's pretty uh, tiny and again, it's behind these two. And it's going to come up and around like that. Very good. Same thing, let's add some shapes over here. I'm gonna start right here. We have a, a little um, oval or circular shape here. And then another one that's going to go to right about here, it looks like. This one's a little bit more circular, not as tall as the one before it. And then there's a tiny space uh, before we have another uh, oval that's going to come up and around like that. Another shape that's going to be behind this one slightly. Again, going to come up and around like this. And then finally, another shape. This one's behind this one slightly. There are two more bumps added to this one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those in. I see one right here that's going to go between these two, and one more that's gonna connect these two. Pay attention to how little space there is between these two bumps that we just added. All right, let's go over here. I see one that looks like it's going to overlap right here, and right here, it's gonna come down to a little point before coming up and rounding over like this. Good. And then we have one up here. And one more, this one's slightly behind the one we just drew. It's gonna come up. All right, for this next step, we are going to erase any uh, line that we see within these shapes that we've drawn. Uh, if you need to clean up any lines after that, totally fine. They're really teeny tiny. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so now we're going to add two more pretty large shapes over here on this side. First, I'm going to mark uh, where I see this shape hit our first one. Looks like it's right about here, and it's gonna go off the page with a curved line, just like that. Next, I see a line that's going to extend from this little bump here. Looks like it's going to go up and over and off the page. Perfect. And then there's one more line that's going to follow the same curve. Uh, almost all the way around, just like that, perfect. Now let's go ahead, let's add our last uh, shape here. It's going to come up and over like this, just a curved line, that will then come over and down to this point here. Perfect, that looks great. All right, we're going to add a line down here you're basically just going to double up those two. And I see some bumps up here. Let's do the this one first. It's gonna come around like that. And one more, this one's slightly behind the other one. Perfect. And then don't forget we have a line here that's going to meet about right here and start about right here. So let me draw in that curved line. Perfect, this looks wonderful. It's a little tricky, so take your time. All right, for this next step, we're just going to erase those lines. Excellent. And let's extend uh, one line here off the page, almost to the corner of our page. Perfect. And then we have two lines that are going to come down like this. We have one that's gonna come off the page and it looks like it starts right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and round that out and connect them. 
And then one more that's gonna come right over here. Just like that, perfect. And then we have one more line that looks like it's going to meet right about here and start right about here. Get that nice and curved, perfect. All right, there's another shape right in here that looks like it's going to start here and round out over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and curve it just like that. Perfect. And it looks like it's going to have a small line right there. Excellent. Before we add one more shape up top, this one looks like it's going to come in like that and curve over like this. Perfect. And then finally, a little bump over here, uh, right about here to right about here. This one just curves around. Excellent. All right, next we're going to double this line right here. It's gonna come around like this. Now that I've added this line here, don't forget we have a small uh, little line here and it looks like it's going to come around and meet this shape here. Excellent. And now we can go ahead and draw this curved line right over here. Perfect. We're starting to get into some of the details. On some of these little bumps, we're going to add tiny uh, little ovals up top. So I see one right here. And now we are going to add little tiny um, small ovals or dots to these bumps that we have. So go nice and slow. I'm gonna start on the left hand side and work my way over. Let's start up top. I see little tiny bumps up here. Very good. Now keep in mind these shapes are mostly organic, right? They're kind of bumpy, they're a little wavy at times, but treat them um, similar to an oval. All right, up next we are going to add what look like little hearts, uh, but these are sort of the points on the cactus. So I am going to start up here and work my way down and over. So I see one here and what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to draw tiny skinny hearts. So I see one here, uh, make them a little pointier than you might otherwise. And that's our drawing. Before we can start coloring, you're going to take your Sharpie and you are going to go over all of the lines that you've made. Go nice and slow. And then you can take your pearl eraser and erase away any pencil lines you have left. Let's get to it. All right, now that we finished drawing our cactuses and going over with Sharpie and Eraser, we're ready to start coloring. I'm going to use colored pencils, but obviously use whatever materials you have. And I'm going to start by blocking in the dark blue sections first. Um, I see them primarily in the background, but I also see some bluish uh, parts on some of our cacti. So I'm actually going to include that now. And I'm going to use this dark blue and this uh, dark purplish color as well to sort of build all of that up. For these sections, I'm going to push a medium or hard amount using a medium amount of pressure. And uh, let's start there.
All right, very good. I can touch up these uh, bluish purple shadows on our actual cactuses later. I just wanted to block those in so I could kind of better uh, organize my picture so I can see what I'm coloring. But as you can see, I colored in all of the background with that beautiful dark blue and dark purple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice yellow color and I am going to color in um, the yellowish sections of my cactuses, right? So it's not the whole cactus, but it's parts of it. It's okay if you extend it past those actual yellow parts because uh, we'll layer on top with some green. So I'm just gonna start blocking those in now. All right, wonderful. Now I can start blocking in our lighter greens. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in each of my cactuses now with this light green, paying attention to where these sort of yellow highlighted sections are. Uh, so go ahead and start building those up. We can put some dark green and dark blue shadows on top. All right, wonderful. Now that we've blocked in the greens, we can start to take our dark green and build up those shadows on our individual shapes for our cactus. Again, apply more pressure to get a darker uh, color. We'll start building that up and then we can go ahead and get our details in. All right, now that we've finished coloring in those beautiful greens, I'm just going to touch up those darkest blues again on our actual cactuses, and then we can get to the little flowers on top. All right, uh, next we can go ahead and start building up these little flowers on top of our cactuses. So what I'm going to do is for the yellow ones down here, I'm going to start by coloring them in with this nice tan color first before building up some yellows and oranges. Make sure to not go over the little white bumps on top. Excellent, now that we've done that, I'm going to touch up the same uh, little bumps with this yellow. The yellow's mostly towards the top and then slowly tapers off towards the bottom. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to go ahead and block in some light oranges, sort of in the middle here. And then finally take a darker orange and go along the bottom of those little bumps. Finally, I'm going to take a nice magenta color and I am going to color in the centers on these uh, little flowers. It's gonna be dark along the outside before um, slowly lightening up as it comes in. All right, excellent. 
Next, we can go ahead and color in these uh, flowers up here. I'm going to start with a light pink, build up with some reds and magentas. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to take this red and I'm going to build up some red on top before finally going on top with magenta. Excellent. And then finally, I'm going to take our magenta and block in those shadows and color in the tops. Push nice and hard and then taper off. And that's our project. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to check in with Studio Us later for more projects you can do at home. Stay safe, hope to see you soon.